first up here at 6 o'clock, more than 100 people in Pinellas County are being accused of going after storm victims, from looting to armed robbery to contractor scams. The Pinellas County Sheriff's Office announcing dozens of arrests already. A lot of those arrests came out of a three-day unlicensed contractor sting in Madeira Beach. Let's go to Fox 13's Kylie Jones joining us live from there with the details. Uh, Kylie, this is something that uh, the last thing a homeowner needs to worry about is getting taken advantage of after these storms. Mark, exactly. And as you can see behind me, still a lot of devastation here in Madeira Beach. This is the site you see along most streets, piles of debris still weeks after the storm. And Sheriff Bob Galtieri says yet some people still came in to scam and take even more from the people who've already lost everything. A month after Hurricane Helene and two weeks after Milton, this is what Madeira Beach still looks like. Some buildings are still boarded up. Debris piles still sit outside what's left of these homes. But for alleged thieves and frauds, these storm-ravaged barrier islands in Pinellas County became a prime target. This is the epitome of people trying to exploit others when they're down and when they're out and they're trying to rebuild and they got nothing. In the last three weeks, Pinellas County Sheriff Bob Galtieri says they've arrested 45 people in the beach communities on dozens of charges related to looting, loitering, and armed robbery. They're going into people's homes, they're taking stuff, they're rummaging through their things. Of the 45, only two were from Pinellas and all but four are not U.S. citizens. The post-storm crime doesn't stop there. Deputies ran an undercover operation targeting unlicensed contractors. This whole operation was solely on a couple of streets here in Madeira Beach. As of Thursday afternoon, Galtieri says they've arrested 63 people accused of phony contracting deals who offered more than 75 projects totaling more than a quarter of a million dollars from plumbing to roofing to electrical work. People offering to do work on their property but in some cases have no intention of doing the work, in other cases are unqualified to do the work, and in all of these cases are unlicensed to do the work. Again, a lot of these people aren't from Pinellas County. A lot of the businesses on the barrier islands remain closed, and people are only going back to their homes to clean up the destruction. People need to be able to rebuild, restore their lives, and we're gonna do all we can to help them do that without being double victimized. And the sheriff says they've continued to have extra deputies patrolling all of the barrier islands to keep everyone who doesn't belong here out. Mark. Hopefully this message is sent loud and clear. Kylie, thanks.